Will he serve life in prison or go home free? You are watching 10 Tampa Bay at 5. I'm Carolina Lead in for Courtney. And I'm Dave Wagner in for Josh today. Right now, a jury has decided the fate of a former ice cream truck driver turned accused killer. Michael Keatley is on trial over the shooting of six men in Ruskin. Two of them, both brothers, died. It's a case we've been following for 12 years now, and we could get a verdict at any time. We'll keep you posted on that. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavia was in court all day long. Miguel, how did each side make their closing arguments? Well, prosecutors say Michael Keatley is guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. They say this was an act of revenge, but he shot the wrong people. However, the defense says that wasn't even possible. Thanksgiving Day of 2010 shocked the Bay Area. And the case isn't over yet. To this day, Michael Keatley maintains his innocence. He was the victim of a robbery, brutal shooting, left for dead. His defense team says Keatley could not be the killer, adding Keatley himself was attacked in his ice cream truck in 2010. Michael Keatley himself suffered a horrific event. Investigators say he was robbed $12, but the defense say his injuries were so bad you can see the bullet hole. It was impossible to fire a gun. Ten months after that day, authorities found six men shot, two brothers, Sergio and Juan Guitron, dead. They were unarmed. They did what he wanted, and he shot them anyway. But prosecutors say that made Keatley obsessed with revenge. Throughout trial, witnesses testified he wanted to hunt down those responsible. He was trying to find the people that did it. But the defense says Keatley is a victim of rumors and poor handling by investigators. The state of Florida has not proven their case. All of the evidence in this case points to one person, and that is the defendant seated right over there. This time, prosecutors hope to sway this new jury. A hung jury prompted a judge to declare a mistrial three years ago. Michael Keatley did not choose to testify during the second trial. He faces two counts of first degree murder and four counts of attempted murder. That verdict can happen any time now. We'll be sure to give you those updates live right here on air and online. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.